Sue King's prose discussion on scientific parenting experience. When pregnancy happened to me, I made up my mind to use scientific methods to raise this future baby. One day at half past five in the morning, my daughter was born. My joy and curiosity made me eager to try the so-called noble responsibility of motherhood. I felt that the time for personal sacrifice had come, so I ignored my postpartum sleepiness, reluctantly raised his voice, and asked the maid to put the newborn baby on the small bed that had been prepared early so that he could sleep. According to the common knowledge on parenting, the first breastfeeding is planned to be done 12 hours later. He was also prepared to take a good nap with him in order to regain his energy. Unexpectedly, the baby was unforgivable and could not stop crying. I was so angry that I had to calm down over and over again and said to myself, the baby's cry can expand the lung capacity. Let him go. I have to sacrifice a lot under the title of mother. Why should I ask him for a crime of disturbing sleep? I cried like this again and again, and I just closed my eyes and ignored it. At about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I was upset and exhausted from holding back the pain. Seeing that the sacrifice had reached its limit, I expected that her lung capacity had also expanded considerably, so I couldn't help but open my eyes and ask the maid for advice. As a result, I had to discount the stipulated time of childcare by 30% and ask someone to go to the neighbor's house in advance to express some milk to fill her up. After two days and nights, milk begins to be secreted. According to the planned breastfeeding time during the 14th day after birth, breastfeeding will be done every three hours at night and day. So when the clock struck the sixth time, I called, Mother Wong, bring the baby over and feed her. Mother Wong hurriedly ran to the little bed, looked at it, and answered me, the baby is sleeping, wake her up and carry her over here. As he said this, he took off his quilt and prepared to let the baby lie outside. I heard Wang Ma pushing and calling softly, but I didn't see her coming over. What? I asked impatiently. She won't wake up. Hold her over here and let me call you. You won't catch the cold if you hug me while you're asleep, right? Wang Ma asked in panic. It's none of your business if you catch the cold. I was obviously a little angry. The baby moved slightly when she was placed next to me and then fell asleep again. I gently shook her left arm, but she refused to wake up. I couldn't help but lose my temper and pinched her nostrils with my upturned hand. This time she woke up, but she just kept crying. I remembered that I couldn't breastfeed while crying, so I had to wait for her to stop before talking. It was already half past six, and the crying began to gradually subside, but she fell asleep again. I had no choice but to console myself. Forget it. It's okay. Even if I get up at seven o'clock, Listening to her low breathing, I felt sleepy. Just as I was about to fall asleep, I was suddenly awakened by the cry. Now she was really awake. I thought the opportunity to breastfeed had arrived, but I didn't know if it would be 7 o'clock. She looked at her watch and saw that it was still only a quarter past 6, so she pretended to be asleep and her cries became louder and louder. She expected that the time would be pressed, so Wang Ma also joined in and advised her, just give her something to eat. The doll is hungry, so I rinsed her mouth and sucked her until 7.15, then spit out the nipple. I hurriedly called to Wang Ma to get boric acid water to test her mouth again, but unexpectedly, she woke up again and couldn't cry, so I had to repeat breastfeeding. At half past seven, I fell asleep again. This time I was so scared that I didn't dare to drive again. It would be even more difficult to stay up until night time, sooner or later because either the baby or I didn't wake up when the time came, or the baby didn't wake up. If you wake yourself up before the time comes, or call your mother to get boric acid water, you should wait until you get up to get it. The uterus has shifted. You can't do it even if you scream loudly. The mother's mental peace cannot be ignored. After a few days of this, the children were crying, the mother was tired, the servants were complaining, and the neighbors were disturbed. In order to calm the trouble, I had to accept the advice of the third mother-in-law. What is the good thing about the words of the red-haired man in the book? As the saying goes, newborn babies are fed with folded flour milk, which means that after folding a flour, they have to eat it again. How can they be hungry for two hours? The third mother-in-law is illiterate and never knows what is said in any book. When she was young, she raised four boys and six girls. She followed local methods, but all of them grew white and fat. 
much fatter than your baby. It's not necessary to wipe the mouth with boron or something. What's wrong with the mouth of a breastfeeding child? About a week later, the baby's eyelids suddenly became red and swollen, and a large amount of mucus leaked out. I was so anxious that I even forgot that the mother should lie on her back for at least 10 days. I turned over and looked for a book, and finally found pregnancy and childbirth. I found the so-called warm purulent eye with the same symptoms. According to the cloud, treat it quickly, otherwise you will be in danger of blindness. So he ordered Wang Ma to spread the word to the doctor, but was blocked by the third mother-in-law. Live. What is the limit of internal organs? There is no pus in the eyes. Will children living upstairs get pus in their eyes? This is because she was born with a lot of fetal fire. As long as she eats some Sichuan Lian, she will be fine. I gave it to her three times, and the effect was immediately visible the next day. After the eye disease recovered, the umbilical cord was cut off, and it was time to take a bath. So he asked Ma Wang to bring him water, but their efforts were ineffective. After washing, she was covered with talcum powder. Her armbands and swaddling clothes were removed. She was put on loose clothes and placed on a small bed. Unexpectedly, she suddenly caught a cold the next day, had a fever, sneezed, had a stuffy nose and couldn't breathe smoothly during breastfeeding, and was noisy all the time. The third mother-in-law said that she should not bathe her, but Wang Ma insisted that the baby should sleep with her mother and not be allowed to sleep alone. Of course she would catch a cold when she was lifted out of the hot quilt, during night feeding on the small bed. And by the way, her own coughing worsened because she got up in the middle of the night to hold the baby. Although I knew that this by the way was her motive for speaking, I had nothing to say to reject her at the moment, and the third mother-in-law had already mentioned it. So I violated the scientific parenting law for the third time, and stopped giving her a bath from then on, and brought her back to sleep with her. On the fourth day, after sleeping together at 5 o'clock, the problem occurred again. The baby just cried endlessly after breastfeeding, and would not suck even though he was given milk again. He hurriedly called out to Mother Wang, but after a quarter of an hour, there was no answer. Gradually, she turned around, coughed loudly, and then vaguely asked me to give her milk. When I told her in detail, she snored like thunder again. I had no choice but to wait until dawn. I guess that the third mother-in-law came and found out that, because the baby did not have an armband, his right arm was drawn to the chest. The joints were put together and the procedure was completed. Sure enough, the crying stopped and he fell into a sound sleep. The third mother-in-law was still a female Huayang. After this panic, I followed the order and put the baby in a swaddling bag and an armband. The third mother-in-law saw that the scientific method was defeated by her. So she raised her thumbs and told me many empirical parenting methods with great interest. When a child is frightened, she should be told to urinate quickly. And when she is one month old, she should be asked to pee. People with different surnames gathered money together to buy a silver necklace. And every new year, they should buy the copper coins of tofu to treat her as a bed-in-law. This made me feel very divine and enlightened to her. On the full moon day, my mother was afraid that it would be hard for me to raise my baby. So she chose a wet nurse with rich parenting experience. She and her third mother-in-law hit it off as soon as they talked, and they seemed to regret meeting each other so late. Since then, my daughter has grown up under their experienced parenting methods. She is now 10 months old, fat and lively, which is a strong confirmation to her. As for me, I had already replaced the study of parenting methods with various novels and magazines before. September, and the pages of maternal love were already filled with a mixture of cat feces and dust. All right, this part of the story ends here. Want to know what happened next? Let's listen to the breakdown next time.